Hey there, I want to give you some quick tips to try out on doing astigmatic refractions. Now you might be doing this yourself, but if not, give it a try and see if it makes things a little bit simpler. The point of this particular technique I want to show you is to make it easy for you and make it easy for the patient as well by giving them a difference to see. And I'll show you what I mean. Now say you've done your retinoscopy already, or say that you have a um, previous refraction you're starting from. I've just set up a bit of a dummy refraction here. What we're going to do first of all is check the refraction in our invisible patient's right eye. So first of all, say my red on my previous refraction here, it's minus 025 by 90. I'm going to firstly check this patient's power and I'm going to give them a difference to see. So I'm going to put it up to minus 050 straight away, even if I think the answer is 025. And I'm going to ask them which is better, 1 or 2. Now if the answer is minus 025, they're going to prefer the black. The reason why this is a useful thing to do is that if you start them on minus 025 and this is the answer, well there's two or possible three answers to this. They might say they're the same, they might prefer red, if they prefer black then we know we don't have any cell, we'll get to that a little bit later. But um, it just makes it a lot easier for the patient when you give them an easy question first of all. So if they don't need this much cell, they'll find they'll prefer black you've bracketed already and then it's easy for you to go back from there. Say for example we've got a patient with the higher cell. So now I've got a patient who's minus 125 by 90. Let's show them first of all 150 cell. Which do you prefer, red or black? They're going to prefer black. Now drop back to 1 and ask them the same question. Presumably they're going to prefer red, they want more power. So now if 125 is our answer we could have two possible uh, responses from the patient here. They might say red is better or they might say they're the same. But we're saving the trickiest question for last and we're doing this bracketing first of all so that you know that the answer now is either 1, 2, 5 or if they prefer the black then it's back to 1. Okay so now we're going to have a look at the patient's cell axis. Again we want to give them a difference to see. So let's let's assume that the answer is the cell axis is 90 Let's offset it by five or so degrees and see which they prefer. Do they prefer one or two? If the answer is 90, they're going to prefer one. They want to go this way. So let's do a little bracket on the other side. Which do you prefer, one or two? If the answer is 90, they'll want to come back this way. And then once we get to 90, there's three possible answers here. The patient could say they prefer this one, this one, or they're the same. But again, we can reassure them that it's okay, they sometimes might look like they're the same, and we can make small adjustments from there. Keep in mind when we're on an 025 sill that the tolerance when making a pair of spectacles is several degrees, so we really don't need to muck around with a couple degrees with an 025 sill. Obviously, this is much more important with higher cells. So now the last thing that I want to show you is what to do if someone's got a low sill or if you're not sure they have a sill at all. Let's just go fishing for sill. So let's say we've done our retinoscopy or their previous refraction doesn't have much cell in it. This is how I suggest you go fishing for cell. Give them an 025 cell and just check, do they actually want an 025 cell? Do they want any more power, red, or do they want no power, black, at 90, 45, 180, and 135? So if you do this in these four meridians and each time they prefer black, uh, then they don't have any cell. There's nothing there and if you went to try and measure a cell axis you'd waste a bunch of their time and it would be hard answers for the, the patients to try and give you. So go fishing for cell and if you don't find any cell, if they prefer black along these four meridians, then your job's done. There's no cell. So give it a try yourself, see if it makes things a little bit easier and see if it makes it a little bit easier for your patients most importantly to give you confident answers when you give them a difference to see.